Hey guys, do subscribe and comment uh, on this channel if you find our videos useful so that we can keep putting out content for the less privileged. Um, so in this episode, we're going to be studying the economy and the different sectors within an economy. So let's start by defining what an economy is. In the previous video, we defined what, an e what economics was, which is the study of relationships between an individual, a government entity or companies. Uh, an economy is just the ecosystem that contains all these different uh, entities. So uh, an ecosystem or an aquarium, which has you, me, government entities, corporations, and how we all live in that ecosystem is what an economy is. So an economy is primarily divided into three sections. The first one you have is a primary economic sector. Now primary sectors are to do with raw materials. So if you're in a country and you extract the raw materials in that given land, that's the primary sector. So this can include things like mining or oil exploration, stuff that has to do with you extracting the raw materials of the land. Next, we have the secondary uh, sector. The secondary sector is more of an industry sector. So imagine in the primary sector, we extracted raw materials from the land. Secondary sector is where we manufacture or we process uh, these raw materials. So this is where we manufacture. Now, we finally have the tertiary uh, sector. The tertiary sector is primarily a services based uh, sector. So if you have things like education or healthcare or finance and banking, uh, these are services you provide uh, in order for you to gain value or monetary value. And these kind of economics, uh, econo economies are known as the tertiary economies. Now, beyond the three major sectors, you have two smaller sectors called quaternary and quinary sectors. Your quaternary sectors is uh, where the strong point of the economy is knowledge or research and development. So a great economy to think of would be Israel whose strong point would be uh, things like education or research and development projects. Your quinary sector is essentially that elite 1% of government or corporations that make economic decisions uh, or are part of the policy making process. Now, one key thing to note is many economies will be a mix of all these. So there'll be some primary, there'll be some secondary, and there'll be some tertiary. The defining attribute is if a certain economy's um, contribution is made for more than 50%, then that takes dominance. So for example, let's take the primary industry, which is your raw materials, like agriculture. If more than 50% of a com of a country's economy comes from agriculture, it's known as an agrarian economy. Again, the key is in the percentage. More than 50% comes from it, then it becomes an agrarian economy. Now, let's look at the second industry we have, which is the secondary industry. Uh, if more than 50% of uh, um, the contribution towards an economy comes from the industrial sector, it's known as the industrial economy. Again, uh, if the industrial sector provides more than 50% towards an economy, it's known as an industrial economy. For tertiary, same thing. Uh, if more than 50% of a country's economy is contributed by services industry, then it's known to be a service-based or a services economy. One thing to note is the actual growth of said industries. Now, in most countries, uh, they form a very linear growth progression. So you start from primary, uh, where you extract the raw materials, then you go into the industry, the secondary, and then you evolve into the services-based industry. So it's very linear. But there are exceptions. And one particular ex exception is India that went from uh, a primary or a raw materials-based economy straight to a services-based economy. And what happened is the industrial section didn't grow uh, in a healthy manner. 